In the US, there's a vast difference in population density between different regions of the country. Putting a line down the middle, you can immediately see how the western half of the country is significantly less dense than the eastern. Caused by differences in climate as well as historical settlements and many other factors, the west is home to the most rural parts of the country, tucked away from any major metropolitan areas. Within these areas, there are some of America's smallest and most rural counties, less populated than a small village. So today we're going to find and talk about the loneliest county in America. Before the video starts, I wanted to just quickly ask if you please consider subscribing to the channel. We make geography content like this every single week, so if that's the kind of thing you enjoy, please click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you! So first of all, how do we find the loneliest county in America? Are we talking about the smallest county, the least populated county, or the county furthest away from any major metropolitan area? Well, let's start by going through a few. First, there's Cherry County. So Cherry County is located in Nebraska, taking up the north central part of the state. It's a large county with its biggest city being Valentine, a city of 2,613 residents. Apart from that, there's nothing more than a few small towns. Now this county's main claim is just its distance from anything of note. It's 149 miles from Rapid City, 234 miles from Sioux Falls, and approximately 280 miles from both Omaha and Denver. The closest interstate is I-90, which passes 90 miles to the north, and I-80, which passes 90 miles to the south. With it being such a large county, you have to take the population with a grain of salt. Apart from Valentine, there is nothing going on here. Another option is Kalawau County in Hawaii, and this one's not going to take the cake purely because I can't count it. If you don't know, I have an entire video about the county because it was created as a leper colony, specifically designed to be as cut off from the outside world as possible. This is cheating, therefore I can't include it. Same with Alaska, with the state actually having boroughs instead of counties, so either way I wouldn't really be able to consider it as a competitor, but for the sake of this video being interesting at all, I can't just talk about the Alaskan wilderness for the entire time because there's nothing going on. Finally, that brings us to the actual place I'm going to be talking about in this video, Loving County, Texas. So Loving County, Texas is located in the western part of the state. It's 173 miles east of El Paso, 400 miles northwest of San Antonio, and 284 miles southeast of Albuquerque. It does have Midland and Odessa located around 75 miles to the east, but those two cities feel lonely enough themselves, so they don't really do much for this county. So Loving County is the least populated county in the U.S., with a population of 64 as of the 2020 census. The county has been declining in population since the 1940s, where it reached its incredibly impressive peak of 285 residents. It lost 18 residents in the last 10 years, which is a decline of 22%, so it really affects it. When I say this county is empty, I mean it. It's not small either, being three-fifths of the size of the entire state of Rhode Island, a state with a population of 1.1 million, meaning at the same density, it would have a population of 660,000. Now, obviously, it's a lot emptier than Rhode Island. That's not the argument here. But still, the difference between 64 and 660,000 is not small. Loving County's county seat is Mentone. Now, Mentone is a tiny, unincorporated town with a population of 10. It has a gas station, sheriff's office, fire department, post office, convenience store, cafe, and a very real county courthouse. Now, if you were counting along, I just named seven different very real places in this town of ten people. So, I don't really know how that works, but it's beside the point. Not only is the county seat a town of ten residents, but it's actually the only community in the entire county. Everything else is just complete rurality. One major thing that Loving County does have is an economy. The per capita income in the county is 34173 making it the highest out of any county in the U.S. The economy comprises oil and gas drilling, ranching, and county services. That's it. There are no residents with a bachelor's degree or higher, and this is literally all that's going on in the county. Mostly, it's the oil and gas drilling, though. The oil wells in the county outnumber the residents 10 to 1, and taxes on oil and gas companies accounted for 97% of the tax revenue in the county. The budget in 2023 was 30 million for a county of 64 residents. So when you think about something like this, you kind of imagine an empty county filled with poverty and tumbleweeds. But the people who do actually live there are doing really well for themselves for the most part. They also have some ranching, though there are problems because of the soil, 
meaning the average cattle farm requires significantly more land per animal than in places with better soil and grass. This means the industry is not as major as it could be, and as a whole, the county has stuck to oil for its main source of income. Finally, let's look at a bit of infrastructure improvements taking place in the Mentone area. Currently, a loop is being constructed around the town to bypass it. This is going to be used for industrial vehicles and trucks to allow them to avoid going through the small town of Mentone and instead using the wider bypass of the town. It's under construction as of 2022, and it's likely soon to be done. Other than that, there's not really much more going on in the county, making it an easy choice for the loneliest county in America. Actually, as of 2023, the population has decreased, and it's now, instead of being at 64, is at 58. So that's a loss of six residents just in the last three years. Because of this, you really do feel completely away from civilization if you end up driving through or spending any amount of time in Loving County. Maybe you make a stop in Mentone to check out the large metropolis, or maybe you're more familiar with the county than I am and have something to say in the comments down below. Either way, thanks for watching. Thank you to the members this week, Pull Pot's Pie Hole, KMS162, Jeremy Jarvis, Haystack, Boss King Inc., Blang, Christopher DeAngelis, JL, Darkbird, Elijah Pass, Big Pasty, Jeremy Crone, Wolflink73, Snyder Schwine, Florida Jake, Stormy Knight, Nikita Martinoff, Benjamin Whiting, Ryan Devins, Haas of the Wolf, Dominic Psyche, Rosebud4, and Bryson. I appreciate you all so much, you really help out the channel. If you want to become a member, the link is down in the description below. All the money just goes straight to me and my savings. So if you want to help me out as a person, none of this money is going to a bad place. It's just helping me out as a person. Thank you so much. If you do, I really, really appreciate it.